Hey everyone, welcome to another Elden Ring boss guide. This time we're fighting Renala, Queen of the Moon, or Queen of the Full Moon, or whatever her name is. Renala. The generally speaking, it's mo it's the second great boss, the great rune boss, or remembrance boss rather, that you will fight in Elden Ring. We are here for the first time on this character specifically. I'm using curved swords with bleed on them. We're gonna just talk about the best moments to attack and what attacks you need to look out for that deal the most damage. With that said, let's get started. Now, there is a cutscene here, and I am going to talk over it to give you a premise of how you do this very first phase, as Renala is a two-phase fight. During the first phase, Renala is going to be floating around in the center of the main room, and there's going to be a bunch of uh, children crawling around in their robes. When you are walking around amongst all these children, you'll see that one of them specifically has a golden glowing aura to them. You need to attack that one specifically in order to remove that aura to break the spell that's protecting Renala. You need to do that three times in order to knock her down to the ground, and then when you do that, it'll give you a few moments to attack her to lower her health, and then she'll bring that shield back up after a short explosion, and then you have to repeat that cycle until all of her health is gone. You do need to be careful as the kids on the ground will be throwing magic books at you as well as trying to grab your ankles and using flame attacks. So make sure you are careful when you're running around during that moment so you don't take too much damage. Um, also, you'll know which one has the glowing aura as you'll be able to hear them. It'll give you a bit of a directional cue. I got very lucky and this first one was right next to me. Notice how I attacked it but I did not need to kill it to break that, uh, that aura on it. Here's some of these books. We dodge the books, we attack, then we go for the next one. If you listen closely, the game will tell you the direction of the next one by the singing. Whichever kid is singing is the one that has the aura. So if you're having a hard time finding it, that's what you need to pay attention for. And now that we broke her shield, she's down on the ground, we can attack her. Let's get more stamina going. We attack again. We got her to about one third HP on the very first go there. It might take you a few times depending on your build, but you just basically repeat that same cycle. Now you wanna make sure that you do it quickly because after you knock her down for the first time, if you don't do it quick enough again, she'll actually take a bunch of the kids and throw them at you. Yes, I'm not kidding when I say this. She picks up a bunch of these kids and throws them at you like they're rocks. I'm not exaggerating, that's exactly what happens. So you need to make sure that you knock her down quickly so that doesn't happen. It's kind of terrifying. But all right, first phase, Renala, Queen of the Full Moon is down. And now we go on to the more difficult parts, okay? This is the part that a lot of people struggle on. During the second phase, Renala will open up by casting Comet Azor at you. She will charge it, but if you time it right, you can actually get right next to her and land a couple of attacks for free. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Her next big attack that she does is she curls up into a small floating ball, turns into a full moon, and then throws the full moon. Thro oh, wow, sorry for the stutter. Throws the full moon at you. You need to make sure that when you when the full moon's coming at you, that you dodge it because it does massive damage to you and will basically end the fight most of the time. So you need to make sure that you avoid that damage. The third thing that she does is she can do summons. She can summon a dragon, she can summon wolves, she can summon a bloodhound, a uh, bloodhound knights, and she can summon a giant troll. The only one you really have to worry about is the, uh, for me personally, I've only ever struggled with the wolves, as the dragon, the troll, and the bloodhound knight go away pretty quickly, and you can most of the time just ignore them. In fact, that's what I recommend you do, just run away from them until they go away. Her next attack that she can do is basically a bunch of different glintstone style of attack. She's got glintstone comets, she's got glintstone shards, she's got uh, pebbles. You just need to make sure that you're dodging them all in the right way. And you will see during this fight how I dodge them. There she is, Renala. And then she also has the uh, spinning blade attack. So if you're standing next to her for too long, then she will often spin her, her staff in front of you, which will do a lot of damage. And then she will also be able to throw it at you, which can do a lot of damage too. So you need to be careful of that. Okay, so here's some of these uh, glintstone spells that I mentioned. You need to just kind of dodge around them. There's the spinning blade attack. The good news about this fight is that she has very low poise, which means that every time you hit her, you can interrupt her, as you can see here. 
It'll actually interrupt her in the middle of her spells, which is pretty important to know. There's comets. All right, now she's going to start summoning. Here's the dragon. Now you'll see that the dragon's not really a problem. It's actually kind of weird. The dragon will blow fire at you. You can just back away and then it will try to fly at you. But if you're far enough away already, it can't hurt you. You see, it just lands short and then it goes away. It's very easy to dodge. And now she's going to be take, taking care of us with the giants. The giant will do some ground pounding, some stomping, some running at you, but you can just kind of run away from it and not have to worry too much. You see what I mean? I'm just kind of running away, just basically ignoring him like he doesn't exist. You just kind of take your time, try to get close to Renala as much as you can, land your attacks, and repeat that cycle. The wolves can be problematic as I, they often last the longest as far as summons go, but as long as you're running away and getting closer to Renala, attacking and then rolling as you can, they generally don't have a whole lot of opportunity to hit you. So as you can see, uh, that's pretty much it for the fight. I'm surprised she hasn't done the whole full, full moon thing yet, but a lot of people find the issue with the summons, but if you do it right, you don't have to really worry about the summons too much. As you can see, as long as you can just pace yourself, understand that there's more of a bullet hell fight than anything else, you're able to kind of get close, stagger her, take your time, back off, recover your stamina, and go in again. The biggest issue that people have is they get desperate. They try to run in and stay close all the time. You need to let Renala have her distance. Just like a relationship, if, if someone feels that they need their space, give them their space, right? We've all been there, right? If you give her her space and recover your stamina, you're able to go in and do a lot more over time. And so that is what I recommend for this fight. Take your time, pace yourself, give her her space, and then attack. With that said, I'm out of here for now. Thank you all for joining me for another boss guide for Elden, Elden Ring, this time taking on Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. I hope this video helps you. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'll see you soon for more.